Think for a moment about the worst boss you ever had or a situation where you witnessed what is called today toxic leadership. I recently got asked the question, John, what are the signs of toxic leadership? And I'm going to share a story with you that I think will blow your mind that is an example of toxic leadership. But first, let me say, welcome to Monday Morning Mindset. My name is John Boggs. I am the co-founder of the Brave Thinking Institute, where I also serve as CEO and founder of our business and leadership division. And Monday Morning Mindset is a chance for just a few minutes every Monday for you and me to gather as leaders to talk about an idea, a strategy, a principle, a tool that we can put into use this week, something that can help us be more effective in our business, enjoy and have more satisfaction as a leadership, and ultimately build more of a life that we love living as transformational leaders. So I get asked this question, John, what are the signs of toxic leadership? Well, first I said, what? how do we describe toxic leadership? And Really, it's a leadership style that is destructive to the members of the team or in the workplace in which a leader is leading. It's also often described as a selfish abuse of power on the part of the leader. Toxic leadership can create effects, negative effects in a work environment. Workplace bullying, counterproductive work behavior, job dissatisfaction, psychological distress, even depression and burnout can come when a work environment is being exposed to toxic leadership. So I'll give you three signs of toxic leadership today that all appear as a result of this particular story. I once as a new leader heard this leader that we'll describe as a toxic leader. To put a name, we will protect those through uh, using a a name change here. George is what we'll call this leader. George is a toxic leader. There's a moment where I'm in in a meeting and George is bragging about making a toxic leadership move. And by the way, that's the first sign of a toxic leader, someone who is arrogant and serving their own self-interest first and foremost. So George tells the story, he describes it as a funny story, where George is under pressure. He's not getting the results in his team. The numbers are bad and the owners of the company are beginning to pressure George. And so George's move is to create a scapegoat, to blame someone on his team for the results. He makes the decision, he's not just going to blame one person. Why stop there? He's going to blame two people. And so George calls in his loyal sales manager, Susan. Susan has been a long-term employee of the company. Susan's done a great job. Susan has dedicated herself. And George says, Susan, I'm sorry to say this, but with the numbers where they are, I made the decision today that we need to fire two people. And it's such a challenging thing that what I'm going to do is ask for your help. I'll fire one, but I want you to fire the other. And Susan is just devastated. Susan has been trying to tell George what needs to change, and George has been unwilling to listen. Clue number two of a toxic leader. George has been coming into work angry and irritable on a daily basis, and Susan can't find the right time to share an idea. Even when she tries to share, he's unwilling to listen to feedback and he shuts down communication. That is the second sign of a toxic leader. So Susan is just mortified. She says, okay, who do I need to fire? And George says, I made the decision that Steve needs to go. And Susan is just flabbergasted. She can't believe it because everyone loves Steve. Steve actually has good numbers. It makes no sense. And she tries to make the case. And George says, Susan, it's it. I've made the decision. Either you're with me or you're against me. Are you going to fire Steve? And Susan says, well, you're the boss. If this is your decision and you've made the decision, then I will play my role. So she goes out and she fires Steve. And she just feels sick. And everyone sees Steve as he's gathering his things and he's leaving. And it's just difficult. And she goes back in and she reports back to George and says, okay, George, I... I fired the person that you asked me to fire. And George says, okay, thank you for doing that. Now it's my turn. Susan, you're fired. And George fires Susan. And that brings us to the third toxic leadership move, which is to be dishonest, to be deceitful, and to frequently lie. Those are all signs of toxic leadership. Believe you me, George did not last long in his job. In fact, 
it was a, sh a few short months later that they wound up firing George, bringing Susan and Steve back to the company where Susan became the director, Steve became the manager, and they set all-time records. It was a very expensive lesson for the company to allow a toxic leader like George to work in that organization. And here's George bragging about what he has done. Just amazing to me to this day, a shocking sign of toxic leadership. So I have a challenge for you. Do you have a story? Do you have an example of a toxic leader, either someone that you worked for or someone that you know about? It'd be interesting to hear more toxic leadership stories, how we can avoid those things, how we can create more of what we would love. If you found this information helpful, then help us out and share it. Share this with someone that you think can use this information and, and find value in it. Also, if you're new to the channel, let me just say welcome. I'm glad you're here. I hope that we continue to walk this journey of great leadership together. Go ahead and click like or subscribe. Turn on notifications so that you can get notified when the next episode of Monday Morning Mindset goes live. Until then, I want to remind you to think bravely and act boldly. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.